crazy. Budget. Shock. Will you bring together business leaders to hear about the importance of youth employment, and will you ask them to make a specific commitment to hiring you? Uh, I think the the governor and the mayors, frankly, not just in Boston but in other communities around Massachusetts, should be involved in a discussion with local employers to create opportunities for for summer jobs for youth and and potentially for jobs after school as well. I also think one of the things we need to do is think a little harder about how we might be able to work with some other youth organizations to um, create opportunities for youth at night. Uh, will you prioritize these line items in your first budget? So it's 14 million for youth workers, 7.5 million for school to career, and 10 million for SSYI Safe and Successful Youth Initiative. I tend not to, <laughs> it's hard for me to reference the specific line items there. Um, I guess what I would say is that um, when it comes to particular line items in the budget, uh, my view on all of those is we should always uh, have an open mind about every line item in the budget. But for me, it's more about finding programs that work and replicating them. There are a number of programs that the state has to fund youth employment. And one of the really disappointing things about the budget this year was that those programs were not adequately funded. And the dollar amounts we're talking about to support these programs were really small. When we saw the budget this last year. The legislature, which did not properly fund those programs, and, and I will in my budgets as governor, found $1 billion to fund the expansion of the convention center in Boston. So they found a $1 billion for that, but they couldn't find $20, $25 million to fund youth job programs. I think we've got a serious problem with our priorities in Massachusetts. It, it is important that the governor is able to pick up the phone and call on business leaders and industry leaders and people in other sectors, whether it's healthcare, education, other areas, and make commitments that they'll hire young people in internships. Um, we've, we've had, on my campaign even, many young people that have, that have worked and volunteered and interned here on this campaign that are doing it now. And the experience that you get from uh, being in those kinds of settings as a young person is invaluable, absolutely invaluable. So there's always a demand and a balancing of interests when we look at a new budget. I'm hopeful that at first you come in halfway through a budget. I want to look at what, because we hope the economy is turning around, we'll have more revenues to look at. We look at what the demand is for them, but I can tell you that one of my first priorities besides investing in good education early education for kids and the kinds of resources uh, that I think kids and their families need while they're in school. Uh, this is going to be a priority to make sure that all of our kids across Massachusetts are getting the opportunity to get that kind of job experience, have the opportunity uh, to look at a career and a way to build that. So those will certainly be at the top of my list. Will you sector leaders and company leaders to make a specific commitment to hiring you? Yes, absolutely. I think one of the great opportunities we have here is not just in schools, in our high schools, and our vocational technical schools to have co-ops, to have summer jobs. Uh, it's a huge advantage and I know businesses are anxious to do that. We have such exciting areas of growth in our economy and youth should be able to have access to it. I've reached out to businesses through my whole career to make them better partners with government and in this case I absolutely will be reaching out to, to employers to, to help them help youth get into the, into the, into the job core and to have the skills they, they, they need. There's some really exciting examples of individual companies already that are working with high schools and with, uh, with, uh, community, with our uh, public higher education system to actually make sure that youth have access to jobs even while they're training. I think it's a gift to companies to have youth ready and able to join them in the workforce and my commitment to encouraging companies to hire youth is, is, is total. I think that the, um, the thing to remember also is that this affects our investments in our education system. To have an elementary and secondary school, secondary schools, high schools, uh, programs in which are already in relationship to companies is a really big step forward. There are great models where youth in high school already are working in companies and that means when they leave school they're ready to go to work. You know, I don't know the exact amount that's in the state budget for those items, for those line items. I would certainly want to work with those who know this issue very well to make sure that we have appropriate amounts of funding for those three line items. 
and if those amounts are the appropriate items, line items, and if those who know this issue well believe those are correct, then I would support those. But beyond that, I think there are other things we need to do to support youth and to support job creation. I have said that as governor, I want to create 5,000 paid summer internships in Massachusetts for college students, for college students, Massachusetts college students in public or private universities.